Oh damn, we back. Welcome to a new series. We're calling it a new series. Chris, put the word fucking new series. This is a fucking not. Do you know what? You see that part? Yeah. Go, go down. Down. Because it's not Red Dead Redemption. No, it's on Dead Nightmare. No. Put that thumbnail on screen. Scary version. If you start doing that. I'm not going to do thank it. Thank you. I'm not going to do that it. That shit was weird. I won't. I promise. It was weird. I won't do it. Woo. Oh, fuck you. <laughs> fuck you. You lied. All right. So this is like a side story, basically. A side story or a. It's like a like, what if. What if zombies? Like, yeah, because, like, you'll see. What if zombies invaded the like, old obviously, West? Obviously, for example, you play as John Marston, which already. Like, Love in the time of plague. Yeah. Like, already, because you're playing as John Marston, this this can't be. Oh, what's the fucking gravedigger, dude? Seth. He, Seth. Seth's going to be having a field day in this one. Seth is a big part of this uh, story, actually. This, this is actually pretty big. I, as, I never beat as this. As a but, disclosure, I've never played this. Yeah, I've I, I've played about half of it or something. John Marston has returned to his loved ones. Yeah. While trying to rebuild his ranch and win back the trust of his family, Marston awaits whatever life will throw at him. That is the time the that ghosts are present. Man. Well, almost anything. <laughs> oh, fuck you. <laughs> fuck you, Alex. Dude, get ready. This is a great thing. This is so much more legit than you think it's going to be. <laughs> I love this. I'm excited to be playing it. Red Dead Redemption. So uh, grab that, use that as a ringtone. One dollar available now on our mm. Etsy. None of you guys, you all think I'm awful, so that's okay. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I meant to say, damn this awful son I've raised with his half pollutant ways and his shame that his mother swears like a sailor and sews like a blind man. Uh, is that better, your lordship? Much better, mother dearest. <laughs> Good. I'm so glad, my darling. When you've finished your university education and are far too good to even acknowledge my existence when we pass on the street, and you gently kick me aside and beg an old crow out of the way with your highly polished boot, well, think of me kindly at least, will you, my son? <laughs> I'll try to, mother. I'll think, that woman I just kicked, that used to be my dear old potty mouth mom. Maybe I should bother to kick her harder. <laughs> dear boy. Oh, I am so proud of you. Get off. Now, father's here. Maybe he can beat some sense into you. This is a wonderful game. Something funny's going on out there. Damn dogs gone crazy and wolves howling and birds flying. Well, it's just the storm, John. Maybe. Uncle make it back yet? I love this. It's like a horror movie setup. They don't trust John? Huh? They trust John. They don't trust. They're just like, where's uncle? No, no. Like, didn't you just see, like, his wife, like, shoot him away. His son glared him down. They don't trust him. There's something about John. They're like, well, he's still trying to get his family back. This is like right after he returned. Well, that old man can take care of himself. I know. Like, it's hard to get back to being with your family. Either that or I ate something funny. Knowing your mother's cooking seems more than likely. Mm. Well, talking about food, who's ready for some poisoning? <laughs> Me, my darling. I, am oh, I don't want the family to die. We just got them back. We just got them back, you guys. I don't. What you reading? Monsters. Yeah. Tell me about it. It's kind of dumb. This this has more of a plot I than you think it does. Fine. Well, it's all about in ancient times how Aztec warriors worshipped the sun. 
But during full moons, some of them worship the moon instead. And upset the equilibrium of things. So anyway, w what it involves is there's this one guy, and he goes out in search of this one. That moment. He Shout out to Sun. Shout outs to that owl. That leaves him all alone. So, anyways, since there ain't no cure, the brave man has to kill everybody, which is absolutely disgusting and completely unbelievable. <laughs> ah, foreshadowing. Man. Come on, then, Abigail. <sighs> Jack, get yourself to bed, boy. Try to get some sleep. Or try to sure. live. To wait till morning, just like any other man would in his if you can make it till morning. Don't stay up reading too late. You never know what's gonna come knocking. Uh oh, full moon. Hope nobody's worshiping it. You okay, old man? You oh yikes! Whoa! Uh I wish you could wear this outfit. Where are you going? Where are you going? To get my gun. Oh. Oh. God damn it. Man, you really put your gun far away, huh? <laughs> I mean, you know, you want you don't want to accidentally. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. Yo! Yay! Whoa! <gasps> She's dead. You dumb son of a bitch, stop! Did he get her? You think he got her? I don't know. I do know, I'm just kidding. I do know what happened. Take him out! Headshot. That's how you do it. Fuck! God damn it! I don't know. What do you mean I don't know? Leave, I had to kill that poor bastard. I... She's dead. Well, you okay, darling? She's dead. You okay? Oh, Abigail. Abigail. I don't feel so great. Yeah. Jack, get out here now! Oh, good lord, what's happened? Mama? Careful, boy. Mama. I wish you wore pajamas this whole game. Oh! oh! <laughs> Stay right there, the pair of you. Don't make me no widower now. Why did she didn't even turn yet? Ah! Uh... What? <sighs> Whoa! -oh. God damn it! We spent the whole game <laughs> just to be with our family. We finally get them back, and I have to put them both down? Hog time. Stay there while I deal with your half son. <laughs> He's like chasing the dog around or something. There he is. Got him. <laughs> Warhorse. We just unlocked Warhorse. You really? Yeah. But in this game, there's even better horses. Because in addition to this being a zombie game, there's just like all kinds of paranormal shit happening everywhere. Yeah. It's great. Seen as both of you seem to have gotten a little excited. Probably just a fever. Jack, be kind to your mother. <laughs> Abigail, 
Teach the boy right from wrong. <laughs> Stop biting chunks out of people. I'll be back as soon as I can. <laughs> what is he doing? Just getting his clothes. Getting ready. Yeah. Because it's fucking John Marston. The coolest guy ever. Guess I best go find me a doctor in town. Oh shit. Here we go. It begins. Yo, if I get if I get tagged, am I dead? I don't know. Don't don't say I, I don't remember. War horse. The undead nightmare, baby. War horse. War horse. War horse. You are not war horse. How good are you, Warhorse? Ted! Guys. Are you kidding me? Ted! What time is it? What are you doing, Ted? I didn't even know you were here. Special news. What, what is what's, the news? What's your special what's news, Ted? Got you sandwich. Oh my god. From McDonald's? No. Yeah, what? <laughs> Ted, I told you I'm trying to eat healthy, yummy thing from McDonald's? That's not the surprise. What's the, su what's the, what's surprise? the surprise? Kyle and Tara had a baby named Max. Who? Who is that? Your, uh, Time oh, good. Congrats. So you just wanted to come in and tell us that they had a baby. Yeah, that's. That I wish. I wish I would have. Is is there anything I can do to? I just. Is it Mazel? Mazel, Mazel Tov? Tov? How is it? What? That we found someone so incredibly <laughs> gifted as you, Ted, <laughs> to come in here and share those moments with us. This is this is truly special. Ted, thank you so much. Guys, congrats on the baby. Congrats and, on the baby, and Ted, really. Thanks really. For the, thanks for the McDonald's, Ted. Thanks for the McDonald's, Ted. Ted, um... Just... I just remembered, Ted, I think there's something that you have to do somewhere else. Yeah, Ted, I gotta get back to actually murdering uh, yeah, children, I've, so if you could... I've, yeah, you... I've you can, I swear. We're playing Undead Nightmare. We have to oh, murder children. I just got a message that there's something that you have to do downstairs. Oh, oh yeah. I don't great. know what it is. All right. Thanks, Thank Ted. Thanks, Ted. Thank See you, ya. Ted. Here, bye. 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 Oh. We gotta change the locks when we're doing beer, bros. <laughs> War horse. War horse. Attend me. Where'd he go? War horse. That was not War horse who showed up. I summoned the War horse. Warhorse, what were you doing behind that rock? Crouching? Come on, Warhorse, quit screwing around. Alright, so now we gotta go all the way to Blackwater. So we have nothing. Oh. Oh, the map is crazy cool now. Yeah, the water is blood. <gasps> Undead Nightmare. Let's go, baby. Name of the game, name of the mish. Name of the mish, baby. So this game has, like, all kinds of new shit in it. It's really great, and I think we you should have, have a- you have some trivia for us, Alex? Is that, I, is that- are you trying to do trivia on this show? I mean, look, I do it when I can do it, you know what I mean? Sometimes, sometimes it's there, sometimes it isn't. Sometimes it is. Sometimes the war horse shows up. Sometimes he doesn't. That's true, sometimes you jump off a cliff with the war horse and the war horse dies, but then you use the- That's the thing. To the war horse. You can't- you can't, no matter what you do, outrun the war horse. It's true. Actually, though, in Undead Nightmare, I believe there are some horses who can. Which, outrun the war horse? Oh, yeah. Are they undead horses? Yeah. That's pretty tight. Yeah, Fuck there's some cool shit. That's there's like, some that's cool like shit pretty, going on. pretty sick. Oh, no. Yeah. Apparently the town of town of Blackwater used crayon on every uh every So there's building. no so because it's a zombie apocalypse, right? Mm-hmm. There's no guns or stores or anything. <gasps> so it's all like It's actually survival horror based. Yeah. So I should not be trigger happy is what you're saying. Yeah. Well you can like find towns and you can like find chests and can like I loot all bodies? The bodies all probably have bullets on them. Mr. Marston, sir! Marston! It's me! Professor, what are you doing? You can also use torches to burn the zombies. I came back. Do they come back? Uh, I think they burn. What is going on? 
Let's, uh, I'm a man of science, a, a man of great learning, a, a thinker, a, a wise man, and I'll be honest with you, sir, I haven't got a fucking clue. <laughs> Why, then, he's honest. What, what should we do? They don't really say zombies in this game oh, too much. We try to find other survivors, band together, and find a cure. Or fight to the death trying. Well, well, that sounds great and all, but, uh, but I'm uh, just peachy. But, but I'm not sure that I'm, I'm not cut out for such shenanigans. I, I was thinking more that uh, finding a horse and, and riding back to the civilized north at the speed of knots before writing a paper on the events He's, of the comfort of my study. This man is just on so much cocaine. Right? I mean, I, I, I can't Think, is it heroin or cocaine? Some bloodshot dirt I feel like he's got to be doing cocaine because heroin just turns you into, like, mush. You're yeah, you're just like, hurry. I like you, but you're crazy, dude. <laughs> Shoutouts to old school, the oldest movie. Could you just wait a second? Cut it out, man. Cut, cut it out. Hey, man. You're crazy. You're crazy. Cut it out, man. I like you, but you're crazy. You haven't got a gun. Shouts to Sean William Scott. Everyone's already dead. I think he gets a bad reputation for some reason. Indian fellow dumbest bricks, but but a good sort. Okay. Didn't the stars get killed? In a couple minutes. Yeah. A couple of minutes. Well, I guess maybe not in this universe. And you're dead. Oh. There's the stars. Oh, wrecked. Yikes. Nastas, you, uh... You don't look great, bud. Oh, shit! Is he dead? Alright. You've increased to... Deadeye during the Undead Nightmare. Our valuable commodity. There are no shopkeepers so ammo sparingly as it comes in handy later. Oh, fuck. Yeah. Alright, you gotta loot the bodies, bro. I'd love to loot the bodies. Loot the bodies hit the floor. Loot the bodies hit the floor. <laughs> One bullet. So the trick is to find zombies that have ammo belts on. Boom. All right. Well, that didn't go well. Damn. Loot the dock. <gasps> oh! Uh oh. All right. Okay. I'm just trying to find shit. You know what I mean? Oh, oh fuck! All right, I think it's time to call Warhorse. Damn, he is just bodying you. Do you have a torch? Holy shit. I don't have a horse. I mean, a torch. Okay. Holy shit. Yeah, we just gotta go to that U. Yipes. Where are you supposed to get? In that house? Between the two houses? Yeah, right through there. Holy shit. I didn't realize how intense this was. I don't remember it being so, so like, Hello? hardcore. Who the fuck is that? It's okay. Come out. I don't bite. Bad joke. Oh, look, is that a torch? I mean, come out. They got my family, mister. And mine, I fear. I saw my mama rip my daddy's face off and drink his blood. <laughs> and they were happily married 20 years. I'm sorry. Damn. Close the borders. That's just not 
Chris, cut that part, please. <laughs> cut that part. Let's get the the port. Chris, cut that part. Can we just cut? <laughs> you cut that part too. Cut all this shit. Make. <laughs> you guys need to stop. <laughs> <laughs> No one deserves to have their blood drunk. I mean, <laughs> no one deserves to have their blood drunk. And if, if a woman spoke out her place, he reminded her of it and everything. And when my mama was dying, people said that he was lying with her sister. But that weren't true, Mr. It weren't. But you said your mother was dead. You know, her and Mr. Braithwaite, he's been dead a year. And then yesterday, he walked up that street eating dogs. And he loves animals. All the dead uh -oh. people come back to life, mister. Only they ain't happy. The funny kind of salvation. All the dead folk? All the folk buried at the cemetery over by the churchyard. My God. I'm gonna go have a look. You wanna come? No. I already seen my mama. I don't need to see any more of my relatives. All right. Here, mister, take this. If you can burn them, maybe you can put their souls to rest. Dude, that torch right, is what it's going to be about. If you see my uncle Mordecai, burn him. Burn him real good, you hear? Okay. Burn the bodies and clear the undead at Blackwater Cemetery. Here we go. Yep, this is the way. Just keep on hitting. Yep, that's how you gotta do it. Come on, Warhorse. We got some zombies to put right. Here we go, baby. We're by ourselves. This is crazy. Yeah. This is hype. I love this. This is like one of the best DLCs. This is like how you do DLC right. Like, this isn't just like the game, the, the true ending of the game behind a paywall. They just were like, fuck it. Whoa! Burn the coffin. Oh shit. All right. Just remember headshots. Wait, headshots or I mean, we'll see how many there are, but we got to find these coffins and burn them. There's one. Where? It there are all the yellow dots. Oh, I see. <clears throat> Boom. Boom. Don't worry about that lady. Hell yeah. Oh shit. Oh shit. Watch one of them like fucking dirty ass what's his name's gonna come out. Seth. He's gonna be like, I'm just sleeping here. Alright, so you gotta kill all these dudes. I wonder if you can get bullets from these burnt bodies. I don't know. It doesn't seem like it. Again, yeah. I think it's like four hits. Oh yeah, there's an X. Oh yeah, if it's lootable. Hell yeah. Alright. Whoa! I mean, you're still taking a little bit of damage, but like, you get it back, right? Yeah. Just because it's like also... It's kind of happening... Like... In between stuff, you know? Right. Just has like a weird animation. 
All right, she's gonna get wrecked. She's done. This guy wrecked. Still, like, more people coming. Yikes. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. No, no, no. Come on. What's your health? Do you have a gauge? No, remember the screen? It, it's all about... All right, you might need to just... Oh, dude, there's Mordecai. Exuberant family man. Sorely missed. Oh, he totally... He's, like, the one from Left 4 Dead. All right, you need to, like, regroup and get a gun. And just blow them all away. Because there's, like, five of them. Headshots. Nice. Clean boys! Uncle Mordecai's on fire, so we're chilling. He's done. He's fucking done. No, he's not. Oh shit. No, he's done. You only got one dot on the screen still. Get wrecked, Mordecai. Piece of shit, Akai. <laughs> got him. He ain't coming back from Rush Hour 3. No way. Rush Hour Undead Nightmare. That'd be the worst. Everybody who didn't actually make it into Rush Hour 3 comes back and makes Rush Hour 3. Whoa, horse. Cleansed. Cleansed. Ooh. 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 No, okay. Calm down. Pull it back. Pull it back. I should do one of those, you know, the, the lights that are like on people's porches? On Halloween that like sound shitty. They're like, And it's like a little ghost that's like turning like 15 different colors and like shaking. You know what I'm talking about? You must. I, I know what you're talking about, Or the yes. candy bowl where you like reach in to get the candy and a hand grabs you. That shit's terrifying when you're a kid. Yeah, dude. Don't do that. I will never forget, I was at a biker bar one time because it was like right outside my dad's house and we were like gonna go get a burger there. And... On Halloween? No, no, no. This was just like at this biker bar by my dad's house. We went in there, and I was ordering a burger, and I, I was sitting at the bar because it was like noon, so nobody was in there. And, uh... Whoa, horse. They told me to put Smart a quarter... To open doors. They told me to put a quarter on this piggy bank, and it was one of those piggy banks where, like, a monster comes out and grabs the coin. Yeah. And it scared the shit out of me. Oh, shit. Yo, I just got a text from Chipotle. They're serving queso now. So... <laughs> hey. Yo. Fuck. Alex, you have to go. I have to leave. This you have, episode, this, this episode of Beer Bros is over because you have to I'm go. I'm going to go get my queso at Chipotle. I, you know what? It's sad because I'm going out of town. I'm going to Minneapolis. Oh, we got to save some people. This town is in dire need of sniper rifle ammo. You can find any ammo in remaining chests in town or by looting some undead. All right, time to kick some ass. Here we go. Town safety. Here we go. We're going to save the town and get a bunch of ammo? You got a... You got a dead eye. That guy, I would have sworn you shot him in the head, but... Bop! Cool. Couple more. <gasps> Sorry about that. Did you do that? What? Did you shoot that person? Yeah. That was like a perfect headshot. Thank you. Alright. We're almost there. <gasps> oh shit! Oh shit! Craziness. All right. Couple more. There's got to be some zombies somewhere. Zombos! Are we like leaving those guys? Are we like ditching them? I don't think so. Like, are they gonna get wrecked without us? Is there a way up there even? I guess we should follow their lead. And there's a guy. Oh shit! That scared me, I thought I died. I thought, yeah, I thought he was gonna like bite your head off or something. You should loot these guys while you have the chance. Train station. Man. Try right, we're doing good. We still, we got like one kill left, maybe. Six sniper rifle ammos. There you go. It's 
Sorry about your teeth. All right, now you got to just kill the rest of them. Let's go. Oh, this is cool. It's kind of like Dynasty Warriors or something. I, like, don't remember the actual mechanics of this. I remember the plot. Nice. Did you... What? Did you shoot... Yeah, apparently I did. Through him? You see him, like, get up and, like... He's like, probably relaxing. struggling with a lot of... He's, he's probably struggling with a lot of stuff. He's, he just turned into a zombie. Search Blackwater for more survivors. This town has been saved. As well as sleep in bed. on the map. This will be marked. With the sign of the one true lord. It will become overrun by the undead again over time. Okay. So you can so you can use the bed, I guess. Is there anybody else here? I don't it says there's survivors here, but like... Well, maybe just go to, to go to the U. See what's up. Yeah, there they are. Oh, you think it's a mission, you mean? I think it's all just like, kind of like one ongoing thing, and then you can like, run off into the wilderness if you want. Fantastic. I just saw my daughter get eaten by some creature sent straight from hell. Thanks for asking. Okay, well, I'm fuck. Sorry, I did. Sorry, <laughs> mister. Forgive my wife. We've suffered terribly. What's going on? Well, it's the government's fault. Ain't it always? Well, they let in too many foreigners. Oh my just God! Order or things like this happen. My daughter was just some satanic demon's lunch because of the goddamn government. Did I pay my taxes? Well, usually. <laughs> Can we cut that part, please? <laughs> I'm dead serious. Wise man, but I have done a little traveling. These creatures ain't like any foreigners I've ever seen. Thanks for the input, cowpoke. Get down here and She's get eaten then. On my family, and I'm taking advice about tolerance from a gunslinger. What in the world has my life come to? And my daddy told me I never should have gotten married. This is all your fault, you, you useless man. Oh, not now, Doreen. Not this again. Doreen has no chill. <laughs> Your daddy was a, a bully and a drunk. Well, you ain't no kind of man. Listen. <laughs> I'm sorry to interrupt your happy reminiscence. Is there anything I can do to help? You got any idea? Can you go get some cattle for us? Could yeah, could you solve the zombie the zombie problem? Ma'am, it's been a real pleasure. Sir, you're a man of great patience. <laughs> See? That feller ain't hiding away like a little girl who wet herself. Wow. I could fucking murder you guys. <laughs> All right, next time on Beard Bros, we will continue our mission of finding survivors. Here we go. You one of them, mister? Do I look like one of them? Don't come no closer. We made that mistake before, lost half our number. I ain't one of them, you fool. Well, how do I know? Speak in English. I can't speak. I ain't taking no chances. Kill him, he's one of them. Yeah. No, I ain't. Don't take no chances, Silas. Have it your way, all right? Listen, I ain't coming no closer. Do you know what's going on? It's the glass eye. The freak with the glass eye, he caused this. Ah, uh, Seth. Seth. It's the snake oil man. These poor folks have been drugged. I blame the Mexicans. They haven't been struck down. Whoa. Yo. Some say it's a moon. Some say it's drugs. They don't come no closer now. Stand back. Apparently it's worse in New Austin. Must be where it came from. And it looks like I'm headed down to New Austin. Did one of you say snake oil? It's a glass eye. I blame the Mexicans. Yay. McTavish, you don't know nothing. You always was an ignorant shrew. That's right, Connie McTavish. Glad he's dead. Well, at least my husband never took favors from the stargazers, Lucille Billings gave. Damn. Say you're sorry, you hillbilly white trash. Yeah, yeah, now how are we going to rebuild America like this? <laughs> We had it all decided. We was gonna be kind and gentle and pay homage to our leader, who happens to be me. Sounds like you folks have this all worked out. Have yourself a fine America, and good luck. The twist is that this game is set in 2017. We decided, we decided <laughs> we would hold elections and that I would be leader. You can't even 
grade. Well, I, I got gravity. Well, I mean, gravy. I know how he feels. I got gravy too. Respect me. I am the new king, Archibald Andrews. Me. Now pay home. And now you're all dead. Yo, that is just a pirate from Pirates of the Caribbean. Actually, is that the dude from Mexico? Is that the, uh, the guy that we, uh, helped? I have no idea. Track down Seth and Nigel West Dickens and Seth in New Austin. Alright, next time on Beard Bros. Oh my oh. god, this is a fast boy. Oh! Bolters. Okay, alright, next time on Super Beard Bros. More Don't. zombies. Don't. You, Missy. Don't cheat on your husband, please. Oh, she's a zombie now. That's she, what you get for being was. racist. She was. Yeah, see ya. Alright, next time on Beer Bros. Bye. Bye.